Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> Roll the intro. I literally feel like I'm dying. God, I hope it's just stomach muscle pain. I have really bad pain right here, and it's only when I move. So I'm, I'm forcing myself to make this video. How are you guys? My name is David Franco from davidfranco.co. I am here to unbox the Nintendo Switch Lite, which I was very fortunate enough to receive from my parents. Thank you, mom, you know, specifically, um, for getting this for me for Christmas. And tonight I went out and bought this for myself, a Nintendo Switch Lite carrying case, official case that is, from Nintendo. So, sorry it's a little bright in here. Uh, this is gonna be a very, very casual unboxing. But I wanna get this done tonight so I can actually use it and relax and all that stuff. So here we go. I did go for turquoise, which is very interesting for me because I'm typically a black or white kind of person when it comes to electronics. But because I already have the original Switch, I figured I'd go for a more fun approach this, this time around. Um, so I went with turquoise. And I, honestly, the gray model looks kind of boring, in my opinion, and yellow. Yellow actually looks kind of nice in person. I mean, it's usually the one they have on display at Target. I, I just saw it tonight, actually. But um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of yellow. I just don't like yellow all that much. So um, I went with turquoise. Okay. Let's unbox this. Hey guys, I gotta say, this is gonna be really perfect for trips in the summer, like driftwood and seaside heights, uh, because currently I have to take my original switch out of the dock, and then I have to get everything together, all the accessories and all that stuff, and then bring it with me, you know, to seaside heights, driftwood, wherever I'm going. And yeah, that's not that big of a deal, but the fact that I can have a switch light specifically for traveling or on the go, or, or even here, just lounging around, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Plus it's only $200. I don't think that's a lot to ask for, for a Switch. Okay, here you go. And I apologize, I'm not gonna really throw any B-roll in on this one. I'm, I don't really have the, the, uh, the drive, if you will. But I gotta say, this thing is damn beautiful. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, it is light. Now, it, it's kind of hard to tell the weight at Target because it's always connected to some kind of cable or adapter, you know, for anti-theft reasons. But to actually hold this myself, I gotta say, it feels and looks amazing. Like, this thing it just feels like a quality-built product. And I gotta say, one thing I especially like about the Switch Lite already over the original Switch is the fact that the Joy-Con are kind of merged, which means you get an overall sturdier build and you don't have that Joy-Con jiggling around movement uh, here and there. Also, I gotta say, unlike the original Switch, we do get a traditional D-pad, which is really cool. And of course, just like the original Switch, we get game cards slot up there, volume up, volume down, power on, power off. I'm, I'm gonna try to power this one right now. Yep, it is indeed charged. Very cool. Okay, so one important note, and you might know this, this is kind of common sense. Love that click. I do not recall that startup music with the original Switch. That's, that's probably no. Anyway, getting to my points, um, the only way I do not recommend buying the Switch Lite is if you wanna play games on your TV. As of right now, it's impossible because there literally is no physical way to put this in a dock or HDMI or anything like that. Uh, so for someone like myself, this is a great second switch. So yes, if you don't have a switch, I would start with the first one. And then of course, if you enjoy your experience, you can upgrade or downgrade in a way to the switch lights. Just setting up my Wi-Fi here. Connecting. Successfully connected. Very nice, okay. Let me set that aside for a second. 
and see what else we have in the box here. Because after all, this is an unboxing. I'm sorry for all the cuts. It even it even hurts to talk sometimes uh, with whatever's going on with me. Anyway, power adapter. There you go. Pretty basic stuff. You get this little manual, which you probably will never read. And of course, just got this at Target tonight. My case. $20. I don't mind ripping the boxes. This one I'm gonna throw away. Oh, and also this does include a screen protector, which I will not use. I'm not a fan of screen protectors. Never have been, and probably never will be. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. Is it just me? Let me know right below in the comments. And here you go, wow, a very white case, which is what I prefer. The first case I had picked out was gray, which I love gray in terms of accessories. Uh, but as soon as I looked down a little further, this was a little more expensive and I was like, you know what? White is classy and plus the contrast of white to turquoise is pretty nice. All right, so let's open up this case and then I will let myself go. Usually I'll say I'll let you guys go, but yeah, I, I shouldn't even be making videos today. I just don't feel very good. Basically, the less I move, the better. Okay, here you go. Open in the case. Pretty basic stuff. We get a little bit of storage for cables and maybe a few games. Actually, your games go right here, which is enough for what? Eight games. That's actually not bad at all. So yeah, eight games right here. Accessories, cables, and all that stuff. And let's take the switch light. Let's turn it off. Again, beautiful design. Beautiful, beautiful design. And just place it in like this. And boom. The switch lights is away and protected. Also, we get a little bit of branding right there, which is pretty cool. Okay, guys. I don't feel 100% okay with the presentation of this unboxing. It's a little too bright. Angles suck. I feel like I'm talking lower than usual, so I'm just gonna go. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I promise, uh, for those new to this channel, I'm not always like this. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm usually, Insanely upbeat, telling bad dad jokes. I'm not a dad, at least I don't think I am. Um, but yeah, I just kind of need a couple days to recover. But hey, at least I can chill on my couch or in my bed with my new iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I bought myself for Christmas, and my Switch lights, which again, came from my parents. So thank you so much to my family for making this video possible. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for making this video possible. That doesn't make sense. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.